Alright. I'm just going to keep that up right here just so we can see it. There we go. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah. That works. So. Alright. Let's see if we get anyone in here. See if anyone even wants to. No, we are. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Announce it. Blacky, there's Cloudy. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I posted it. All right. Well, hey, Nicholas. Uh, like I said, we uh, felt like it was a good time to do a Q&A session with everyone. Um, obviously, I'm Levi. Uh, this is my wife. Um, you guys know me as Husky. Yep, that's Husky. Hey, Charlie. Um... Right, so we were just going to try and do a little Q&A session um, before the patrol, uh, give you guys an opportunity to ask us questions, get to know us a little bit. Um, hopefully, that way we can... I don't even know how to explain it. More or less, <laughs> get personal questions and stuff out of the way. Um, that way you guys can kind of understand um, our thought processes and stuff like that. So, hey Marquise, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um... So we are going to be, like I said, any any questions you guys have for us, feel free to ask. Um, we are going to be um, answering as many questions as we can. Um, nothing that's going to be super personal or super vulgar or anything like that will be answered. Um, so we are literally just going to be um, answering questions as we can. And uh, you can ask questions of both of us or either one of us directly. And uh, we go from there. I figured we'll give it about, what, 45-ish minutes? Yeah, give or take 45 minutes or something, far. if we can go that long. Um, that way I don't butt too long into my time getting ready for a patrol. Um, so hopefully uh, we can get a lot of questions answered in that time. And uh, people stop with questions, and I guess we'll know we're done. So, um, hey, Lemon Boss. Um, Nicholas's question, I am in Area 5 tonight. Um... We, I'm the only one in Area 5, and Benzo is my supervisor. That's all I know so far. Uh, day, day was pretty good. Um, it's starting to get down to the wire. of uh, We're starting to get some rain moving in. So, um, But day was good. Got to sleep in a little bit, get some time to relax, which is nice. Um, don't really get a whole lot of that nowadays. And some of the cake. Uh, you're welcome to come on over and have some black eat. We have cake left over um not it was sure. a pretty cake too yeah it was it was a really nice cake i would show a picture off my phone but it's not gonna look very good <laughs> um the uh we do have some cake left uh but i don't think it would fare well being shipped or transported to you so but we'll save some for you you're welcome to come down and visit <laughs> it's very delicious cake <laughs> um where and when did you or how and where did you guys both meet fun fact both of us met in world of warcraft Mm -hmm. um, Dalaran. Yeah, in Dalaran to be exact, <laughs> on the flight pad for the flight path, to be even more specific. Um, I had just come back to the game during Legion. This is retail World of Warcraft, not uh, classic versions. Um, I had taken five or six years off of the game, came back to it, and at the end of my one month sub, I was debating on whether to continue running it, and I was getting tired of the game because it was frustrating. They changed way too much for my likings and then uh she was running her uh cuz her nephew's guild mm -hmm. while yeah. he was busy doing work and stuff like that and they were advertising trying to put together a raid team um i'm a healer in world of warcraft so they said that they were specifically looking for healers uh, i messaged her and guess what here we are that's why I say my nephew found me a husband yep <laughs> so if you ever hear me say that that's why 
But that's how we met. Um, it was actually World of Warcraft, and fun fact, I actually thought she was a guy at the beginning because her character's name was a guy's name. And then on top of that, the first time that I actually heard her in voice, she sounded like a little kid. I would say like a six or seven year old. Um, <laughs> like I really thought it was a little kid that was playing and ended up being this girl that was uh, had a lot of similar interests. And I, I, I mean, I talked to her for months like she was a brother. You know, and I uh, got to know her really well before I actually found out she was a girl. I make a good bro. Yeah, she makes a good bro, <laughs> I can tell you that much. So, um, that's how we met. Um, we've been together now f- five years? Four years? Five. Five. Mm-hmm. So, five years. Um, four of which have been officially together. Um, and we were engaged for six months. Mm-hmm. Yep, just By just a little over six months. Yeah, from February, beginning of February to yeah, just this last weekend. So, and then we decided, hey, it's time to get married, and here we are. Um, hey, Thomas. So, that's how we met. Um, we still play a lot of games together. Um, we're still very active in the gaming communities. Um, so, we, we definitely spend a lot of our free time doing what we're doing now Mm -hmm. um sitting at the computers playing games or we even do console gaming we both play the ps5 we both play xbox we both play the switch you know basically retro games um i have literally almost every system you guys can think of um so we we spend a lot of time during games reliving old ones reliving new ones and uh just having a good time together so um play my switch a lot yeah (laughs) kids um i have one child uh from a previous relationship he's a nine-year-old and he's a handful um he uh he he was my little miracle i I should say uh because he was born early he was born three months early so i have issues with him that keeps us on our toes and keeps school on their toes and everyone around (laughs) us on their toes but uh we make it work so it's uh it's pretty good just so just one do have plans for more so i gotta at least have a hockey team that's what we agreed to <laughs> we like hockey in this house yep <laughs> hockey is our number one sport here so which I, anybody that's followed my stream you know that um dream vacation oh gosh yours and mine might be different yeah we might be a little different on although this i do want to go on a cruise that yeah a cruise i've been on cruises so a cruise would be good i'm thinking like I think a dream vacation would probably be either either back to the Philippines or in the Maldives area for me. Norway. Yeah, Norway. Norway. Um, <laughs> I knew that. Or somewhere cold for me, like Alaska, uh, the northern parts of Alaska, not just like Juneau or Anchorage or something. I'm talking like the most northern part of the United States north kind of thing. That's, uh, that's my dream vacation, somewhere cold because I'm a cold weather guy, or... Some are really nice and cheap, like the Philippines or Maldives, because Philippines is cheap just due to the fact that the currency exchange there is absolutely ridiculous. I think for every dollar, I think the exchange rate is like every dollar for us is like $45 for them. So you could literally live there for $6 a day, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, but it's good. I've been there before when I was in Korea, um, but I would go back in a heartbeat. Definitely. Uh, is she a part of SLRP too? Um, not exactly. She's not in the community, but she is a very big supporter of me. Um, and so she is pushing me. I lurk the streams. Oh, yeah. That's why sometimes if you message me or talk about me, I'll just kind of pop in and be like, I'm here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Um. I just don't chat a lot because... The game style is not her... That's not her forte. She's not an FPS person. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a it's kind of like a third person shooter kind of game style with a lot of economy based in it. But um, I have I have tried to design a few five M servers of my own. Um, and in fact, I still have one that I'm still kind of half developing, but I'm not good with graphics, which is why I'm like, there you go. Um, but she. Uh, She's helped me out a handful of times in that and is like, yep, you can just be my chauffeur. I don't want to do anything else. I see um, that, Thomas. You don't want me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want, you uh, don't want me doing that. 
Big NFL fans. No, sadly I am not. Um, the last time I was uh, involved in any way of NFL was like my sixth or seventh grade in school. I was in middle school. And I, I was torn between the Lions and the uh, Green Bay Packers. So that's, uh, that's where we're at. I like hockey. That's the only sport I care about is hockey. So if you want to get me talking about a sport, it's hockey. <laughs> uh, Tom Brady? <laughs> yeah, Tom Brady. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, I know he's a Michigan guy. Um, U of M. So Woo-hoo. that's about as far as I go with him. <laughs> Um, and even then, I mean, football in general is not a sport that I truly enjoy. Um, not because of the politics that's gotten involved in it, but just it's not a sport that I'm like, oh yeah, huge into. Like I said, hockey is my sport. If it's not hockey, it's either auto racing in any capacity, um, basically the GT series racing, Formula One racing, or drag racing are my top threes. Um, so. After that would definitely be baseball, and then way, 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 way after that would be something really boring to most people, but like table tennis, like ping pong, something like that, weightlifting, MMA kind of things, all kind of equal at that point. So I'm very cut and dry with my stuff. I'm just like hockey or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hockey, well, I like I like racing. Racing's yeah, good. Yeah, racing's but good, especially drag racing. Drag racing's good. Yeah. I've only been once, though. Yeah. I got to go again. Drag racing is fun to watch. Um, previous jobs. Um, geez, I've had so many of them. Um, I've worked with, uh, obviously, semi-mechanics were my number one. I was a military mechanic. Um, wrecker operators for both track and wheel vehicles. Um, I was an automotive mechanic for a long time. Uh, I build and work on computers on my side. Um Geez, I've worked on boats, big and little boats. Uh, I've worked for mechanical engineers and optical engineers, um, working with CAD programs and stuff like that. I've also done a little bit of carpentry, which, don't ask, I am not good. That's why I don't do it anymore. Um, I'm absolutely horrible with carpentry, but I've put my hand at it. I'm good with a lathe. That's about the only thing I'm good at. But I could literally take a square for carpentry and make a crooked box out of it. So... Like, I'm absolutely horrible with carpentry. Uh, I have worked in food businesses. Uh, I've worked for Domino's. I've worked for Wendy's. Managed both of them. Um, I've also worked in local kitchens to my areas uh, where I got a lot of my cooking experience and stuff like that. Um, And now I work for a hockey rink uh, in my local area. And I also work for a paper company as a fleet maintenance supervisor, um, which is our forklifts, uh, high-low scissor lifts, um, extendable boom cranes and stuff like that. I'm the maintenance manager for all those, making sure that they're all fixed right. I know your list is a whole lot shorter than mine. I worked at two grocery stores, and now I do secretarial work at home stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Very boring. I started as a cashier at a grocery store, then I became a cash office manager at a grocery store, and then I got a work-from-home desk job. <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. Blackie asks, what's the best and worst type of coffee? Uh, Oh, I have an answer. uh, Yeah, you and I are definitely going to have very differing answers on this. (laughs) I'll let you answer first. Really? Okay. Well, the best type of coffee is Colombian. Or, or really dark roasts. I would say whatever's in the cup at the moment. I have Folgers Black Silk right now. Yep. Right? That's what you mean? Yep. Yeah. So, um, Colombian really dark roasts those are the best i don't like any blend like aldi has one that's like what donut shop blend or something and it's got like tobacco hints in it i don't like that that's the worst to me i'm not a fan and i don't prefer light roasts because they're just not enough coffee flavor for me (laughs) yeah for me it's a dark roast coffee but it can't. Uh, there's very few coffees that I'll actually drink black. Um, they all have to be tailored up a little bit. But dark roast are the only ones I'll drink. I am not a fan of medium. Hugely not a fan of light. You'll drink my Colombian though. That's yeah, medium. That's medium. I mean, I know it's not it's your preference. It's a darker medium. But... Colombia is usually darker. That's um, probably why I like it so much. So yeah, any realistically anything just flat black coffee is like a big no-no for me. But for her, I think she could probably do it. I know she usually only takes cream in hers. 
just to kind of mm-hmm. take the, the punch off at the beginning. But Every now and then I'll get the fancy creams, but really I just like a good half and half. Yeah. So. And I um, like my Christmas. Yeah, Christmas stuff. She Christmas. loves Christmas stuff. Loves me too. I love it too. Um... Now I, uh, oh, you're gonna have a face cam right up here. once in a while to spice things up. Yes, I will. Um, I will definitely try and run a camera every now and then just to confuse the heck out of y'all. <laughs> um, and like I said, I even thought about having this set up for like after streams or before streams, um, kind of like we're doing now. Kind of like just do a chat, get get everyone on board with everything, go into the game, do my patrol, and then after patrol, kind of do what Jeff does. You know, have a afterwards talk with everyone, kind of go that way. So, that's uh, that's that's where I'm at with the the cam on that one. Um, do I know anyone famous in real life? You know, Lemon. I know you retracted that statement. Uh, yes, my favorite hockey team is the Red Wings. Um, been a big Red Wings fan from like the '80s on. So, I know they're not doing well, but they are my team. I remember when Steve Eiserman was a rookie. That tells you something. And in you fact, and I have different hockey Yeah, she's teams. a Penguins fan. I like the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, <laughs> but fun fact about that, that's all a big loop. The uh, My favorite player as a NHL player was Sergei Fedorov. Um, Sergei Fedorov was always my biggest pl- favorite player. Um, as a goaltender, my favorite was Dominic Koshik. Um But yeah, definitely Sergei Fedorov was my... He was my big guy that I watched all the time. And fun fact, the person I work for right now at the hockey arena, his brother owns it. So I work for a Fedorov. It's actually kind of interesting. So basically that answers the question if you know anyone famous in real life. Yes, I do Fed know. Fed is famous yep, in real Fedor life. Fedor Fedorov is my boss. professionally as well. Yep, he played <laughs> for the KHL and NHL. Um, but yes, I also have, I have met quite a few famous people. I have met... Um, Oh, good Lord. I met a lot of the old-time Red Wings um, when they did their end of the, the last game at the Joe Louis Arena. They were all there. I got down on the boards on the ice, got to talk to a few of them. Um, I've met, like, Magic Johnson. I've met, like, Charles Barkley. Uh, I met Frank Thomas. I met my baseball idol, Johnny Bench. Um, I have met, oh, what is his name? I forget his name. Emmett Smith. Uh, I got to meet him once. Um, that was actually kind of cool. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, I've met him uh, in passing of some events that my dad used to help me with and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely, um, definitely met quite a few famous people, which is a lot of band members too. Used to go to a lot of concerts, get backstage passes, meet a lot of people like that. That's so, more than me. Yeah. I've met your boss. Yeah, she's met my boss. <laughs> so, but I know when Sergey comes and visits, you're definitely coming for that one. Because you're going to have to catch me. I'm going to pass out. Um, Works for me. Yeah. No, I won't I ha- meet my hockey idol. I have a beard. It's <laughs> it's in rough shape right now. I got, I don't have anything in it. It's just kind mm, of a... My beard. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I woke up and I haven't even brushed it yet. I feel like a slob right now. Um, but yes, do you have a beard? Been working on it. She won't let me shave it, which is so, okay because I don't want to shave it either. The thing about this beard, <laughs> okay, when I met him, he just had the... The, it was a little, know, goatee. little goatee. Yep. And he was like, you know, I would love to grow a long beard someday. And so I kept on him and I was like, you should just do it. You should just do it. Mm-hmm. And just look at this. That's great. He's not allowed to cut it. <laughs> so, is this my face reveal, like technically? Well, sure. Well, I'm revealing it. See? Well, I, I do have one other video, but it's so dark because it was at night and on my phone you really can't see it. Well, that's because the power was yeah, out. So all our houses, or all our lights outside were off and he did like a face thing that was, oh, my power's out. I'm not going to be streaming anymore tonight. Yep. <laughs> but you can't see him very well in it. So. Oh, question for me. How was Levi when you two went on your first date? Oh. Why are you laughing? What, what do you want to consider our first date? Well, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm laughing about. I want to I'm going to unpack say. this because we had long distance for quite a few years. Like, what, she lived three in, years. Yep, she lived so in Pennsylvania. I lived I'm in Michigan. I'm from Pennsylvania. He's from Michigan. We live in Michigan now. Um, so my first time meeting him, I flew up. And so the first time I saw him was in the airport. 
And, um, so I guess the question would be, do you consider that, like, the start of our first date? Was that one big date? Because it was I'm a trip. Sure. Yeah. I might need clarification on that. But, um, it was a good trip. It was a good trip. Went to Franken Moose. We weren't dating at that point. Mm. Nope. Until, no, so we weren't dating at that point. Nope. So it, was, it would have been my next trip that I came down. And the problem is I don't remember where we went out to eat when I first got there. Culver's? No. I don't was remember. Was that when we went to Mancino's? Uh, I don't know. It might have been Mancino's. <laughs> it's just very strange because um, the distance, it's like every time we got to spend time together um, that wasn't from a distance that was actually in-person stuff it was like a whole weekend or half a week and um but i was a true gentleman doing it you well you you were a true gentleman from the start even before we were dating because when i first went and i met you you like opened the, the the door to the truck for me and we went and got my luggage and you were like nope i'm carrying it and you know all that so i was raised with southern standards there we go i was raised that's to true. be a gentleman <laughs> so, and that's the way i'll always be that's true all righty uh favorite games uh for console or for a computer both um, I would have, them. or just combine <laughs> like favorite games that we both play. Um, I would say my favorite game out of all of them is one that I don't get to play very often because I don't have a full setup for it, but, uh, DCS world. Um, that is my flight, my digital combat simulator flight sim game. Um, and I'm missing my rudder pedals. I have the full Thrustmaster Hotas setup. Um, I'm just trying to get the Thrustmaster TPR Pendular pedals. Um, but those are very hard to come by and very expensive. So uh, I don't get to play that very often. One that I do get to play often, my favorite console game would have to be Gran Turismo or Assassin's Creed series, one of the two. They rank about even for me, so I love those games. Uh, for computer, my favorite game on the computer, that's a toss-up. I play so many games on the computer, it's unreal. Um... I mean, I love Ready or Not, Arma 3. Uh, we, we both love to play World of Warcraft, both classic and retail. Diablo 3, as you guys have seen. She's actually the one that plays with me on Diablo 3 um, on some of my live streams yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, we have one live stream of us playing D3 together, and you couldn't quite hear me, but I was there. Yep. <laughs> Dying a lot because it was late at night, and I was really tired. Yep. <laughs> so, um... But I love the retro games. I grew up with Nintendo, um, so I, I am very comfortable in those ones. So it's like, uh, you throw any game at me, I realistically will play it. Even games that I'm not a real fan of, I will play just to get the experience of it and then go from there. Sometimes I find I like them, sometimes I don't. Um, we I always do know try. I mean, like, we, both we have play. some games that it's just been, let's just try it and see the concept's yep. good. And sometimes it goes... A good way. <laughs> Other times it's like... Mm. Yep. I used to be huge into Valheim. Used to be really huge Love into um, Skyrim um, mm-hmm. and Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. So, yeah. There we go. That's where we... Uh, that's our favorite games that I can think of. Um, let me see. How tall are we? I am 5'10". I'm 5'2". Two. 5'2". Two. <laughs> yes. It's It's... It's a little bit of an estimate on the higher side She's to like make five, me one. feel better. Um, I, I get an inch of leeway, but I'm really short. <laughs> uh, the current cars that we drive, um, I have a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, that's my winter beater vehicle. Um, in the summertime, I as often as I possibly can, I'll drive my, I have an 85 Goldwing limited edition 1200. Um, I ride that almost daily, um, even rain or not, I still ride it. Um, <laughs> That's she, what rain gear is for, yep. honey. <laughs> we also have a 2003 Park Avenue, Buick Park Avenue. That's my car. Yeah, that's her baby. <laughs> that's my baby. I so, love that car. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cars. We are looking into getting a new one. Um, hopefully next year we can get it, but we're looking into a fourth-gen Durango. 
um, like an RT or maybe even SRT if we get lucky enough. That would be absolutely sick to have. No, definitely not the Hellcat version. I'm not spending 80 grand on a vehicle. Sorry. Um, so that's where we're at right now um, with the vehicles. So uh, let me see. Where are we at? We just got done with that one. How or who introduced you to SLRP? Oh. Okay. Fun fact. I actually got introduced to SLRP as an introduction to it by um, Benzo. I was doing a lot of LSP, LSPDFR content and videos, trying to get all that going, and he had a lot of how-to videos. And it actually morphed from Benzo to Jeffrey. And Jeffrey, I liked his content way better, so I started following him a heck of a lot more. Um, after... I'd say, what, two two or three months of following Jeffrey, I dropped my application in, and fun fact, Thomas was my interviewer. He's Aww. the one who brought me into SLRP. Well, if Thomas is still interview. here, we have him to thank. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yep, that's how I got in, and obviously Thomas was my supervisor when I started in SLRP, being the comm supervisor at the time, um, and he worked me all the way up. Yes, you did, Thomas. <laughs> yep. You were the one that did my interview for it. So, it was you and Jeremy. Yep, yep. I was, uh, you worked me all the way up to uh, the same position as Ethan. I was the first support level with Ethan. And then uh, Mark decided it was in his best interest to move me over to LEO. And that's where I've been LEO since. And I still get crap from it from Thomas. <laughs> Maybe you so, deserve it. Yep. <laughs> um, what is my favorite meal to cook that you have cooked from scratch? Every meal I cook is from scratch. And she can she can tell you that. Literally I have my answer of my favorite one to eat. Uh, if it's grilled food, um, anything grilled, I am great. At. I love doing grilled food. Um, mm. Got my own rubs and recipes that I use that I don't give away easily. Um, I do have home recipes for casseroles that I make a lot. Um, my chili is second to none in my opinion. Uh, I make that straight from scratch as well. So I guess it really depends. Um, but my favorite, I, I mean, I'm just going to have to say it, steak and potatoes. Oh. So that is my number one that I like to make for myself, steaks. and she loves them too. I so. steaks. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be, if it was grilled, I was going to say steaks. Yep. If it was non-grilled, I was going to say your chili. Because <laughs> you make a mean chili. Yeah. yeah, I make a mean chili. You make a mean chili. <laughs> now, I do have, right there, I, I, I have a food allergy. I'm allergic to tomatoes. So literally everything I make cannot have tomatoes in it. Mm -hmm. Cooked tomatoes will make me sick. Raw tomatoes will actually kill me. Um, so like my chili is a white chili. It's a, um, I, it's a white bean and chicken chili. So Delicious. it's way it's different. It's really good. And I've In been a opening, cold Michigan winter, that's what you want to eat. I've been it's opening her eyes to a lot of things that are non tomato based that have been really good. So it's good stuff. Yeah. I thought doing tomato free food was going to be really hard. But then it opened my mind to a lot of things that I've really liked. Alternative sauce pizzas. And then um, additionally, I make a meatloaf. It's like a brown sugar based meatloaf rather than one that has like the tomato sauce and all that. And just, it, it's kind of neat because it really encourages getting unique recipes to try things you like in different ways. Of course. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> Um, ages. I'm 37. I'm an old guy. I'm 27. 27. <laughs> we actually have nine years and some change between us. So It overlaps for a little while. Can I sign up for Department of Justice real quick? Uh, not sure on that one. If it's whitelisted, no. I like Blackie's question. When do you get free McDonald's? Whenever you come down, man. Are you going to come and visit? And we can just go to McDonald's. Or maybe the next... But does Wyoming even have McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> or when we come and visit, we'll definitely get you some. How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> I just got to poke Everywhere. at you a bit. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, what is your dream job? 
Oh, my computer. dream job. Yes. Oh, um, well, I'm currently going to school for psychology. Yep. So I want to get into the research side of psychology. Um, that's my boring answer. And uh, <laughs> Favorite thing to do? I like gaming. Especially um, on my Switch. I play my Switch a lot. I play a lot of Pokemon stuff. Um, I like watching him play hockey. And I like doing artsy stuff. I do graphics and things like that. Mm -hmm. She's a lot better than she makes it out to be. <laughs> so y'all have seen some of her work. She's the one who designed all the stuff on my channels. So she's doing good. Uh, let me see. Yes, I am a trader, Thomas. I I'll, I'll keep up with it. That's why you shot me in Ready or Not. I know it. <laughs> so, uh, you look so back you get at the interview for being in the document. Bathroom. I have to know if you said this or whoever was trying to make this up. Is blank your legal first and last initial? Yes, just like the jeans. Yes. <laughs> if you if you're ever around Levi and you go to a restaurant or somewhere where they ask for the names, he literally says Levi just like the jeans every single time a because lot of, of the people, Levi's jeans. Yep, a lot of people know Levi's jeans, but the, th the thing is, um, oh, have a good night, recooling. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Um. Just want to get that out of the way. Uh, but yes, a lot of people, I say Levi, and a lot of people spell it L-E-V-Y, mm -hmm. which is not how you spell it. That's a levy, you know, which is how, well, kind of how I got my nickname, so, which is levies. So, yes, I did say yes, like the jeans, just like the jeans. I always do. Even today, I still use it. So, <laughs> um, Jeffrey is three and four, is he? Probably. More than likely. Yeah, Jeff's three and four, Benzo's five and six. So, all right, Zach, you're heading out. That's all right, man. Have a good one. Gotta love the scene questions as well. Example of a scene could bring up to the server. NBA idiots blowing stop signs and yeeting a family of four. Yeah. Yeah, I brought that one up. That's what I said. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, bringing is, out the dirt is, on yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> it is blowing stop signs and literally T-boning a family of four and it catches fire. And that, uh, that's just that's typical stuff I uh, I look out for. I never get to see it because I'm always in the area that doesn't get anything really. But so yeah. <laughs> Favorite movies. Mine's easy. Do you want me to go first? ladies first okay i like the how to train your dragon movies yep. <laughs> all three of them <laughs> yep and the christmas special yep. those are my favorites yep mine that's a hard one for me though that's because you love so many movies yeah uh movies <sighs> if i would have to hammer them down to my favorites um, I mean, I, I also go by classifications on them, too. But if overall my favorites, I would probably have to say the Underworld series. Hmm. Definitely love the Underworld series. Those are, like, my absolute favorites. So, yeah, I know Mark Ooh. will be on tonight. I like that question. Favorite music genre? Have fun with that one. You love everything. <laughs> I, I love everything but opera. I don't love rap <laughs> or country. Yeah. I don't do country. Um, for me, uh, my favorite genre, believe it or not, is uh, house. House electronica or maybe even like German industrial. Um, stuff with a lot of fast paced beats, get you pumping up, moving, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Favorite shirt? Wearing it. Oh, I'm not wearing my favorite shirt, but... Gotta catch them all. Anything Pokemon. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, gotta catch them all. Um, I'm not wearing my favorite shirt. My favorite shirt's a black shirt with a husky on it that says there's nothing wrong with being a little husky. 
to be fair, in all fairness, my actually my favorite shirts are my Arctic Cool shirts, the ones that literally cool me off as I'm wearing them because it's just too hot. Mm-hmm. So if they make an, Ar- I should contact Arctic Cool see if I can get a custom design made for my channel. Oh, oh that'd be a good idea. Maybe I should do, do that. Do it. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah. That was a good idea. Um, got to get a few things set to patrol. <laughs> I'm gonna dip. Yep. Have a good one, Thomas. We'll catch up with you, man. And Wyoming has fast food stuff, even DoorDash. He has something above us, because we don't have DoorDash. Oh, no, we do now. We have DoorDash. We didn't have DoorDash at the house before this one. This house has it. The one before, you couldn't... The only thing you could order delivery was pizza from one place. Because we were that in the country. Another question for both of you guys. Dream car, type of dream home. Modern or suburban? One floor, two floors. I'll let you go first. Okay. The Durango we were talking about earlier, the fourth gen. Plum mm-hmm. crazy. Plum crazy. Plum crazy colored. That's my dream car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. She's a Mopar girl. Do you want to do the car part first, and then we'll talk about a house? Uh, sure. Um, dream car. <laughs> since I'm a car guy. Um, my unrealistic dream car is the Hennessy Venom GT. Um, that is the car that I have talked most about only because it actually is designed after the car manufacturer of my other realistic dream car, which is a Lotus. Um, I actually want a like 2003 ish between 2001, 2003, uh, Lotus Esprit V8 twin turbo GT. So that is my realistic dream car and hopefully within the next five years I can attain it. Now, okay, so we're only talking cars, right? Because I would love for you to have a newer Goldwing. Oh, a new Goldwing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, new Bikes motorcycle. are fun. Mm-hmm. Bikes are fun. I like my bikes. Bikes are fun. <laughs> um, Get a for the one house. Um... Okay, I'll give you... Do you want me to give you my answer first? Because it's kind of the dream house we've just sort of talked about, which was a house on a lot of land out in the country, big pole barn, you know, lots of space to do things. Um, Levels-wise, I would love to have a house with a basement. (laughs) You know, um, I like two-story houses. I'd love to have a house with a nice big deck to sit out on because it's so much fun to just sit outside on the deck, relax. You know, the one that we have here at this one, it's, it's not a big deck, but it's big enough. And it's nice to just go out at night, coffee in hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite house like that, you know, basement, some other good basement, two story on quite a lot of land Mm -hmm. uh i'm talking like 30 to 50 acres worth um would make me most comfortable something in the woods northern like where we're at now northern michigan um would be perfect i'd kind of like it to have like a um well geez almost like a rustic or log cabin style oh i love the ones that have that outside and like in concept so our old house the one that we were in before this one had a railing that was like made of wood and in concept it was really pretty but the way that they actually made it happen was unsafe because it was loose but if there's one thing and we we kind of share this we love wood wood floors Mm -hmm. wood floors all wood wood floors like actual wood and not like the vinyl stuff so pretty yep but i love my rustic you know look (laughs) that was my aim for a lot of stuff in our wedding so it was rustic yep yep that's definitely where i'd like to be that's my dream house porch whatever it's all good (laughs) somewhere i can sit outside even though it's raining and still be dry and watching the rain yep (laughs) And of course, your big bull, your big pole barn. Yeah, I need to have a pole barn big for pole all the barn. stuff, all the toys, and a shop I can fix my own vehicle. Barn in. with a lift. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, Blackie, you caught on. You know, you know where we're going. You know merch. it. Yeah. Merch, 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 merch. Uh, yeah, Cloudy. That's that's my favorite. That's been my favorite. I've actually driven it um, when I was in college, which was right around the time that car was brand new. Uh, I worked for a company in Chicago called Fox Valley Motor Cars, and they, um, you, I'm telling you, they they were the only Lotus dealer in the area, and uh, they were just coming out with the Elises and Exige S, and Exiges um, when I was working there, but they did have the uh, the Esprits, and I absolutely. I used to be a huge Lamborghini fan, like, loved Lamborghinis, loved the way they sounded, loved the way they drove, or looked, rather, until I worked at that dealership, because they, they were a high-end exotic car dealership, and uh, I found out Lamborghinis are not meant to be driven, they're meant to be on a showcase floor, that's it, they're not meant to do anything more than that, at least the older ones, because when I was still working on them, they hadn't even came out, they haven't even come out with the uh, Gallardos yet, it was still the Diablos, and uh contacts and I think they just come out the Mercy Lagos at that point um so after driving my dream car and finding out it was a hunk of junk really um I tried to find one that was somewhat similar and matched it and that's when I found the Lotus Lotus was absolutely perfect and uh if I could buy one right now I really would um and that car literally that car would be babied so bad like it'd probably get washed twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Dead serious. I, I, that car would literally be pampered. I'll never see you anymore. <laughs> yep. I'd make sure it was always put up on blocks every time it was parked and stuff like. I would go to work an hour early just to make sure the tires never stayed on the ground, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that would be my baby right there. I just can't wait to have a plum crazy Durango. <laughs> Uh, you want to know what the weather and stuff is going to be for patrol? Oh. Weather is going to be cloudy tonight. No. Uh, looks like 17 fire EMS, 5 dispatch, 11 LEO, 18 civs, 3 devil's legion, 2 CSOs. Uh, 2 people going to be 2 hours late, 7 people going to be 1 hour late, which I don't blame them. I'd be 1 hour late too. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, like I said, I'm literally the only one in area 5 again. Benzo is my supervisor. Jeff is three and four. Benzo is five and six. No Ted. Two nineties prison transport. David seven nine is our detective, and X ray two eighty is our CSO for tonight. Jeff and Benzo are the only supervisors that have planned to be on, but I'm sure Mark and probably Patrick and maybe even Eugene but. are going to be on. Ben's going to be on. All that fun stuff. So. I'm going to. Leah's what? not here, so we gotta show the pup. Yeah. She'll be disappointed if you don't. Where's the problem at? is he's asleep. <laughs> hey, come here. Wake up, bum. I was gonna say, I don't know how easy that's gonna be to get him. He's stretching. There's the boy. This is my boy. Oh, my boy. She loves her dog. Can you tell? I love my dog. So, <laughs> now he did have another question for you. Sorry, I just, I get excited about the dog. That's all. My PC setup? It's right next to mine. <laughs> That's what she said. Right saying. here. I got a rainbowy keyboard. All colorful and yep. fun. EVGA keyboard. Changes colors. I got two. What, how many inches are these monitors? You know 20, all this better than yeah. me. This is a him <laughs> question, not a me question. Um, <laughs> she has two. I want to say they're twenty-seven inch monitors. Uh, Asus monitors. They're full HD, uh, seventy-five hertz. She has an EVGA um, keyboard. Changes all rainbow colors. Cheap, ten dollar no, mouse. No, no, no! Look, yep. I have this thing with mice where I like my cheap Logitech mice, and that's just what I like. 
and I don't like the buttons on the side that gaming mice have, and I'm just not about that. Yeah. And then I have my drawing tablet. Um. I make a lot of graphics with this if I can get it. Just a little Wacom tablet. All the, the um. All the graphics I draw start on this. Drawn onto the computer. But she's got um. I mean, her setup, she's got a Intel i5, I want to say it's a 6400 processor. Um, she's got a Asus Z190P motherboard, 16 gig uh, Corsair RAM, uh, 600 watt EVGA power supply, uh, nine, uh, GTX 980 Ti graphics card. An M.2, a regular hard drive, and a SSD hard drive. It is um, water cooled with a 240 millimeter uh, AIO setup for the processor, and her video cards are still air cooled. So that's that's her setup. <laughs> that's that's better than what I would say. I would say I got two big monitors, a rainbow keyboard, drawing tablet, cheap mouse, and computer that runs games good enough <laughs> so she's not into the high-tech fancy stuff like i am i just like something that works and is practical i'm like not oh i need the biggest best i just need something that runs the games i want to play so <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know our dog has thought about joining slrp but mark only lets one canine unit in he won't let a second if he did he's already got the application in why does she look bored? Me? You look bored. I have a headache. It's the rain. Yeah, rain moving in. We rain need, moving uh, in. Uh, Pounding headache. Hate it when the rain comes. <laughs> I forced her into this too, so she's Also, bored. I'm distracted by the dog because the dog was brought up and I love the dog. Loves the dog. <laughs> so. so if I'm looking back, I'm looking at the dog. Yeah. So, postal reference charts are not doing so Oh, that's nice information I have. I'll read that to myself later. Okay. Is she joining SLRP? No. <laughs> no. Thomas tried earlier. He said, come do dispatch. And I was like, nope. Not happening. <laughs> oh. Uh, That's, not at the moment. That would be hard. I mean, you guys have seen mine. Mine is actually, I think it's still my uh, icon on my Discord. For now. Yep. I'm working on your replacement. With that, yeah. So, yes, mine is the picture that's in the build. Hers, um, we're going to be doing upgrades to it. So, once those are done, then we'll definitely have pictures of that. Um, my current one's not very exciting, and it's in a black case with red lights. Yeah. So, so I want one that has all the fun, colorful RGB stuff that I can play around with, instead of red, boring red. So we'll get we'll get <laughs> pictures um, out there. Just not right now. I'm not gonna do a, I'm not gonna grab my webcam and try and fiddle around with that. It's bad enough trying to get it where it's at now. <laughs> so yeah. I fought with this thing for 15 minutes trying to get it to work. So. But yeah, I mean, mine's not anything much exciting. I think the the fanciest things to mine anyway are my keyboard and my monitors and if you count my drawing tablet, but that's not quite computer. So. Alright. Yeah, Nicholas, uh, that's that's been asked. Um, like I said, I thought about doing that every now and then randomly. Um, wouldn't be something I would do all the time. But I'm definitely looking into that. Yeah, like I said, hours and time goes by fast. I'm going to have to get ready for patrol here in a minute. So, hey, Rod. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you on. We missed you yesterday. <laughs> So, 
So. Oh, that's right. You did the. Yeah, we did Ready or Not. <laughs> and then Patrick I was trying to put together a Ready or Not thing yesterday, too, and that totally Ready didn't happen. Not? No, I, uh, Arma 3. Oh, okay, I was going to yeah. say, I thought it was some other game. I'm not good with all these but, army, yeah, that, military, and... Um, that didn't happen. <laughs> game names. <laughs> so, but, got about three minutes. Two and a half, Six, three minutes. Almost 6.30 already? I'm going to yeah. cuddle with my dog after this. <laughs> with coffee. Cuddle and lurk with coffee, yeah. With coffee. <laughs> Almost out of coffee. It should be available now. <laughs> 30 minute ready or not stream. Oh. One mission. <laughs> they did. I don't know, Patrick never told me that he was playing. Because I... I sat around all day waiting for Patrick to tell me when we were playing and I never heard out that we were playing. He just asked me if we were or if I wanted to. I said yeah and then that was the last I heard from him. Ooh, a penny an hour? Talk to the boss. What do I get? When do I get a raise to one penny an hour? Well, here you go. Have a penny. <laughs> One hour, one penny. You know, speaking of that, Black, yeah, I'm actually, uh, you, you can ask her, I'm actually looking into uh, creating hockey, or uh, yeah, hockey, yeah, uh, coffee you blends. You make me I'll make coffee. hockey coffee blends. Yeah. I, I am you going to make your it. coffee blends yep. be hockey related? Or are you, you going to go. make, but how are you going to do that? I'm going to make one called the Cronwald. One that just punches you so hard it knocks you out. So you, what you're saying is it's going to be like extra, extra, extra dark. Yes. It's going to be re <laughs> burnt dark. That's how dark it's going to be. How about that? <laughs> so it's uh, definitely looking into that. Uh, You should make coffee, Blackie. You should make coffee because the stream is going to start soon. The other stream. And Rod, you can't coffee. go. You can't go LOA. You have to let me get into ISU first. You got. You got to let me go ISU before you do that. I hope Rod gives. I'm gonna you a hunt hard you down time. when I do. I hope he gives you a hard time. So. Give him a hard time for me, okay? Yep. What's Just going say. on, cookies? <laughs> so. But yeah, we got about a little less than one minute. All right, Spitfire questions. <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh. Get some last-minute questions in, and then... Well, we could always do this again. Mm. A little later. So. Mm. But. I was waiting for patrol. When will, be, when will you stream stuff? Yeah, when, when are you going to stream stuff? Like, with you or on my own? Because on my own, I don't think anyone wants to see me stream stuff. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> no. With him, soonish. Yeah, <laughs> schedules, we'll, be we'll be streaming more. Schedules just have to line up. How much for a dance at the end? A dance now? From who? You. Not from me. I don't dance. No, I'm the one that doesn't. I have two broken dance. left ankles when I dance, so you don't want that. You don't want to no. see me dance, Blackie. I'm, I'm like. <laughs> we did. How about the we even dance at our wedding? How's that? Well, I did. I did the whole. Like, well, we did the yeah. We did the thing whole things the... like that. that's about it. <laughs> Cause I was I was dancing in the in the room. I I have a picture of me with my hair and makeup all done up in the little robe thing that I was wearing, going like this. That's the extent of my dancing, too. Just to Maybe I'll share that picture later. <laughs> With the story but, that you're bringing, you will start my ISU training. I hope so. I want to hear it. I want the official start. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, you need you I need, need a ISU. I need ISU in my life. Promotion. I am in so many boring patrols lately. It's like I need ISU stuff just to be awake. How about that? Yes, wedding pictures. They are coming together. Um, we be will be putting those up probably within <laughs> the next week. They'll be on my Discord. So you guys will be able to see 
uh, quite a few of them to see how everything looks and stuff like that. So we're definitely working on that. Had to wait for the photographer to get them back to us, and then we had to vet through them and stuff like that. All the ones for the photographer that she took have to have the watermark on them. Yep. So they will have watermarks in very inconvenient places. However, yep. if you're not opposed to it, I'll post the one of me dancing in the room where I got ready. Oh, that's up to you. Well, it's a little early from all the other pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll start having some Red Bulls, coffee, whatever will keep you up because it's going to be good. Well, I hope so. Like I said, um, the last, I'll put it this way. My whole last patrol in four hours, I had two calls and they were assisting traffic stops. That's it. That's Ooh. literally all I had. He the wants patrol you. before that, I had one report to write. And that was because I got tied up on a situation with uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's it. And brush off on Brush up on your Spanish. Man, I know enough Spanish <laughs> to get myself in trouble, dude. You don't want that. He's going to put you to the test. Yeah, see, Blackie, you can't you can't clip stuff that I've been doing lately because there's nothing good. So They've been really slow. <laughs> Spanish-speaking deputies. We have quite a few of them, but like I said, you want me to do it? I'll get myself in trouble. I'll probably get myself banned. You'll probably They're going to be like, your Spanish is like... so horrible. Just go. We don't want you anymore. <laughs> So, uh, my last patrol, I had one call in four hours. See? Exactly. That's what I had. I didn't even have a call that was mine. I, like I said, I was backup. And they were all like, hey, I just need a second unit. And I get there, and they're like, yeah, we just need presence. We don't need you to do anything. No talking. Just kind of be there. I'm like, oh, sweet. Awesome. But, hey, that's what's that. Hey, Mamba. You still manage some golden moments, so. I try and do something stupid at least once patrol. Just my favorite ones, fun. okay, my favorite clips, take notes, Blackie, <laughs> my favorite <laughs> series of clips to get are the ones where he'll just get out of the car or be walking and he'll just jelly legs down onto the floor and be like, oh, that button, oh, that button too. <laughs> why, why did I leave you alone last night for Arma 3? I didn't. I did not. And you know what? I'm going to pull it up just so you guys can see. Um, you can't. I mean, can I? No. No, because no. it's covering it. Okay. But no, I didn't, and she could she could see it right here as well. I was asked if I'm available to play by by uh, Patrick, and there was nothing after that. Mm -hmm. So I had no idea anyone was even playing last night. I was really disappointed in that. We waited. We waited to start anything till about what ten thirty. I mean, right here. Um, where is it? Do, 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 do. At 2.30 when we got off of uh, Ready or Not yesterday, uh, he was asking if I wanted to do some um, Arma 3 with the SLRP crew. I said, sure. I asked him if he wanted to do it right now or later. He said, no, 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 later. That was at 2.30. I waited five hours to find out when we were playing, and Patrick only gave me the uh, mods lists that we were running. And then asked me if I was available to play today. And that was at 7.37 p.m. And I never heard anything from him after that. So I didn't even know anybody was playing. Poor Mamba was crying, though. So you you need to, you should have just wrote me, man. Just say, hey, <laughs> ding, we're playing, jump in. I would have jumped in. So when I was in FD, I had three patrols and zero calls. Yeah, I've had a few of those as uh, LEO as well before I started streaming. Staring at a group of bums for four hours. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Were you running sniper? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know where to start. The game is hard. Yes, the game. Arma 3 is a hard game. It's a combat simulator, man. It's the most realistic combat simulator. Hey, Pop Tart, that's. He's Who are you mine. talking to? You talking to her he, or me? He's mine. <laughs> I'm assuming he's talking to you. I don't know. But either way. Yeah. SLRP will be starting soon. <laughs> hey. I'll, I'll, I'll fight him. Fight him. Oh my gosh. Fighting. Oh man. Mamba, I'm going to duel you if you pop into his stream. You know what? 
Mamba? Oh, we're not doing that. I'm about to end my stream. No. Yes. I'm going to have to. I'm dueling Talking to him. the bear. Mm, see? I'm mm. dueling Mamba for a hundred. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys. So, but uh, yeah, no, I do need to. Uh, oh, he agreed to it. Yeah, but Streamlabs is behind. You gotta do it again, Mamba. You gotta do it again. I'm doing it. Again. Well, he said he we'll settle it. Pop Tart coming in here, and not <laughs> introducing himself, asking for babies, right? Hey, man, Rod, that's what happens, bro. It's the beard. See, you get a beard and a husky. You know how it goes. Well, at least I hear about everything enough. I at least know who Pop Tart is. I want, I want him. Woohoo! <laughs> That's right. I win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a slow and quiet shift too, there, uh, Cookies, as well, man. <laughs> A beard and a gecko? Man, you should have ladies lining out the door, man. Oh. I will not be doing this because I am not going to hurry up and try and sign in for all that. You're retiring from duels. Mamba, why are the duels so biased against you? Because I feel like every time I see you in his chat, Leah duels you, and it's very one-sided. I get you on that one, Rod. I understand that. She cheats, though. She cheats. That's her. She does that too, Rod. Who am I scaring away? I'll scare people away. I told him he, he's got a beard and a gecko, so he should have ladies lining out the door. He says he can't. His wife scares them all away. Well, I would too. See? I told you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm telling you. So, but all right, guys. Um, <laughs> 638. Uh, we went a little longer than I wanted to, uh, so I'm going to hop off of here. Uh, we are. I'm going to get ready for the patrol. Uh, that way I can have a drink and everything ready. Notes, taking stuff. i got to get my laptop hooked, packed up. Coffee. Um, yeah, you, she, you go ahead and criticize it like you did my last one with the uniform being wrong. But you know what? With my hat being the wrong hat last time, that's a good thing because I didn't do anything where anyone could see it anyway. So I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so... All right, guys. Yes. Um, here's yeah. Leah does push she people off boats. She pushes people off boats. We know Especially that. She me. She pushes me and Husky me. off boats. All the, all the time. time. All the time. So. It's very annoying because then I lose my points. Is this heist ever gonna? Yeah, end? I'm in area five, so you know that, Mamba. We'll meet up, man. But all right, guys. Um, here's. Uh, well, did I let it go on long enough? Maybe not. Because it is the. It's a two-minute timer. Two minutes. Yeah. So it might. Mm -hmm still be waiting i gotta wait for the heist then fun um <laughs> hey i'm getting that notebook i'm getting my own notebook it looks like a good one to have and it'll be great for taking notes there it is there's your heist you guys just left and what'd you do y'all came back with a handful of booty i didn't yeah uh nope apparently not i, I died hand it yeah so Some wait, 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 wait. Yeah. blackie <laughs> that's funny did Leah put you up to this? Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting involved in that. So, well, right, I got to poke at her. She's not here. She abandoned me. All right. So, all right, guys. We're going to be off. Um, like I said, i got to get ready for the patrol. Um, had fun in this Q&A session. Uh, we may do it again sometime. Um, definitely, if you guys want us to do more, let us know in the Discord. Um, I'm happy to do it whenever she's happy to do it, and we'll go with that. So, you know, with the coffee. Yeah, we're, we're never see coffee. But you know what, Blackie? I did I did go get the donuts like you asked, I'm just saying. She stole my donuts. I, I, I literally took the donuts, so. Made just me very that angry. There. Just putting that out there. So, <laughs> but all right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get ready for patrol, so I hopefully we'll catch most of you guys that are in here out there on patrol. Be safe, brothers. Have a quiet and slow, safe shift. Mm -hmm. Yep, I said it. <laughs> I'm, I'm mirroring cookies because cookies said the same thing earlier. So Maybe but, that means you'll actually have, like... I'm in Area 5. I'm not going to have anything tonight, so... So I'm just going to be sitting there poking you. Yep. So, all right, guys. <laughs>
Have yourselves a good one. We're going to sign off now. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us your time. And uh, we will definitely catch you guys on our next one, all right? <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one. See ya.